Oh boy, we've got a good one today. In this video, I'm going to be showing you a really good Wrath of the Lich King gold farm. And that is right, some, some of you may know the place already. This is SFK, Shadow Fan Keeps. Now this is around a level 20 dungeon. And you get some really, really good twink gear from here. That sells for a crazy amount of gold. Like I'm talking a crazy amount. Let's, I'll show you right now. All right, let's go into Atlas Loot. Let's go to SFK, and let's see. So these are the BOEs. Look at these, like 1K. Them top two were like crazy amount, but the main one you want is this, the Shadow Fang. This goes for about three to 5K gold, and then you've also got the Assassin's Blade. Now these are really good twink um, weapons. So you've got the sword and the dagger. And then also you've got these other items here too. And so they all go for a really good amount of gold. They're kind of hard to get. It's an RNG farm, but if you get one of them, that's a really, really big payday. So I've been doing a couple of runs right now, and we, we got the gloves. We got some BOE gloves that on my server go for 226 gold. So that was pretty good. It was on like the second run. You can also disenchant all of the other things that aren't worth selling. And the wool, for some reason, I guess it's because everyone's leveling up first aid and stuff. The wool um, is worth a fair bit per stack, so it adds up too. So the disenchant and the walls and the cloth definitely do add up, so it is worth running. Now, if you want more gold making advice, tips, and tricks, my gold making guide will be the first link down below. But back to this farm, you basically just want to run the full dungeon clear everything you're level 70 like to clear this it is so easy um there's a couple of chests that can be out throughout the dungeon you want to make sure you grab those can can always get some good loot off them but basically you just want to run the full dungeon and um try your luck at getting some of the boes that sell for a really really good amount so you can do obviously five of these per hour before the lockout um you're going to be doing the runs within like under 10 minutes so you can come here like every now and then do like five runs knock it out it's a good um it's a good dungeon to add to your farming route like if you have a daily farming route that you do i'd recommend adding five runs of this on onto it eventually you will come across some of them twink items that will sell for a crazy amount of gold like on nearly every server um they go for like over 3k definitely and they sell fairly well because a lot of people have so much gold nowadays and they just want to twink out their characters so like i said just here you can see me disenchanting this is a good thing to do to make some more room just make sure you don't disenchant any of the valuable boes that you have but you can um, disenchant to get some more room in your inventory save doing uh, less vendor trips but what i like to do is just gather like group uh like some groups together burn them down they die really quick and then move on and then once you get to the end of the dungeon you simply can run back there's like a little shortcut that I will show you and you can reset the dungeon and then you can come back in and rinse and repeat and do it around like five times or you can do it as, as much as you like and um, hopefully get your hands on one of them twink items that sell for a ridiculous amount so here's the final boss you just want to take him down and then you can simply run out the front of the dungeon and uh, reset it so I'll just show you that real quick how to get back back to the um, start of the dungeon the fastest way also like I mentioned before if you are interested in making gold in Wrath of the Lich King my gold making guide is the first link down in the description box below the video but for this shortcut basically you want to jump up on this roof right here and you can jump down and you're at the start of the entrance.